Hi everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to host a model in TensorArt. So for that, first you have to open a browser and then you have to search for TensorArt. You can also find its link in the description below. Once you go over the link, you will get onto its website, which is called TensorArt. So this will be the first interface that you will see of TensorArt. This is how it looks. Here we have different models, templates, and all about that we can use. But if you want to create or maybe launch your own model, you can also do that. So for that, here we have this option, host my model, and here we have two options. First, we will go with this first option, which is creating a project from scratch, and this is what we're going to do today. So just simply click on do it, and you will get up here. So first, it will ask you to log in with your account. If you don't have one, here I'm already logged in, therefore it did not ask. But if you are not, then first it will ask you. Once you do that, you have to give a name to your project. It could be anything, whatever comes to your mind. Or for whatever purpose you're creating this model, you can just simply give this that name. So you just have to simply write up here, make sure it is under 50 letters. And after that, you have to choose the type. There are multiple options available for type. You have to choose according to your preferences. I'm going with the default one, which is checkpoint. But you can go and choose as per your choices. So if you have an understanding of these types like these models, then I would suggest that you can go for it. But if you don't understand one, then you can go with this default one, which is checkpoint. And then we have this option for tags. So tags actually will define the nature of your project. Here I'm just going to create something related to art or maybe visual arts. Therefore, I'm going to search for these keywords. Let's see if we can find these ones or not. So either you can choose with these categories or you can just simply search for it and you will find. So here you can choose around 3 to 5 tags at the moment. You cannot choose more than that. If you choose by the searching for it, you can find more and select more. But if you are choosing from the available ones, then you have to keep within 4 to 5. So the best way to add tags is just search for it if you couldn't find one but if you can find from these available one then you can choose within this otherwise here we have the option for search you just simply search for it and the available tags will appear so here you can see there we have only five options but if i remove any one of these i can add more by just simply clicking on this add option or I can just simply choose within these available ones. So here the limit has been done. Now it's time to give a description. In description, you can talk about your model. Let's say if you have created a model in which it is related to anime, so you can explain like how this is, how this works and what is your thought behind it. Or in general, if you want to add something other than that, you can add it in your description and there's other options to edit it like you can make it bold, italic, underline and other options that you can work on. And after that, we have these options for resources. You can choose as per your choice, original, original, exclusive and reprint. It's all up to you. If you choose original, then you also have to add a link for it. But if not, then you don't have to. Then you can choose this option, view scope. It's all up to you if you want to keep it public or if you want to keep it private. You can go with any one of these options and you can also choose these options like what you will allow the users to do. So there are different checkboxes available. You can choose whatever option you would like to go with and after that your model will work according to it. And you can allow your users if they can use these images for commercial purpose or not. So it's all up to you. There's four options available. You can choose as per your choices. I'm going with none in which the users will not have any rights to use the art that will create from this model for their commercial use. After that, just simply click on create and it will take you to this page. Now here we have to click on this host model option and it will take to this page. So once you get there, you will see a lot of options that you have to fulfill. First, we have this option which says model version here you will see the name that you have given to it you just have to simply give it a version and after that you have to choose this base model there are different versions or generations available you can choose and you can also choose which server you would like to work on so it's all up to you whatever option you would like to go with you can choose then here we have these training steps you can add as per your choice whatever you're working on you can add up here 
and then here we have other options that are related to training you just have to simply set them as per your choices for the way that you are working on and you can also add your trigger words and again you have to add a description again you can add anything whatever comes to your mind if you already have your description ready you can just simply do a copy paste and make sure there's a limitation available for adding the word so you have to keep that in mind and you can also enable these options and can choose whatever you would like to choose in this VAE option and it will be there after that it will ask you to upload your model file that you have in your system or maybe whatever you have placed it so just have to simply paste that one up here and once you're done with all these things just simply click on publish to publish your model so that was all about how you can host your own model on tensor art i hope you found this video helpful and informative make sure to subscribe to the youtube channel and thank you for watching the video